Hi, this is Heather Coleman, your intuitive medium, seer, and spiritual counselor. And to tell you the truth, I had to really ground myself before starting this reading video. The energy is so big and so exciting this week. Um, now we're in the week of January. I know the date, folks. 20, nope, third, ah, 23rd through 30th, Monday through Sunday, and all right, so a lot of big shifts, and the really amazing thing is, I chose these cards, took the photo without even looking at them, and then said to my wonderful Je friend, Jen Kriko, a brilliant psychic in her own right, the energy is so big, I've got to breathe through it. Well, we're going to see why right now. Now, if you haven't already done so, I want you to choose card one, two, or three. Now, it might be difficult this week. One card. One card is going to speak to you. Choose it. See that number in your mind right now and strap in it because the energy is really big this week. Really awesome. Just great stuff going on. Okay. Again, I really, I'm, I'm so excited. I've got to ground myself here. Yay, love what I do. Card number one, are you ready? The world, major arcana number 21. Now, whether you know a lot about tarot or you don't, the big thing is five suits, okay? The major arcana encompasses our whole being. In other words, all the other four suits together, the mind, the physical, the earthly, the energetic, um, as well as the emotions or the water. This is going to sweep across all four parts of your being. Now, if you've chosen card number one, this is um, soul growth. So if you have been working hard towards the next stage to your spiritual or soul growth, this card is saying to you, congratulations, you have accomplished that milestone. You are accomplishing that milestone and... I'm sitting here super excited for you. Want to know what is that milestone? Please do share in the comments. If you've chosen card number one, what goal has it been for you? Has it been deeper connection during your dreams? Deeper connection with your spirit guides? What have you been working on? I'm very eager to hear what it is and how that's been going for you. So please share. Um, and again, card number one. You're doing it, babe. Whatever goal you set for your soul and your spiritual growth, boy, you are on the right track, and I want to hear all about it. Ah, I'm really trying to ground myself, can you tell? Because this is how you're feeling. <laughs> Still in the energy card number one, like, wow, this is so cool. So card number two also has a really big feel. Um, a little less like, whoa, I'm going to be carried away, but a lot of, like, big stuff going on. Now... Card number two is the Hermit, Major Arcana number nine. And the message is a little bit different. If you've chosen card number two, you are going through some pretty significant changes in your life. There is a need to go off and be a hermit so that you stay grounded. Now, a few moments ago, I said, ah, look at me. I'm having trouble staying grounded. Well, you're like that too. So take a long time every day, even if you... Um, are around people a lot. Maybe you have a demanding family and or work life. Carve it out. Put it on your calendar. Even if it's just five minutes twice a day, go into a room on your own, even if it's not totally quiet, and just breathe. <sighs> Maybe a little stretching. You need that to stay balanced. So again, card number two, be the hermit. Because of all these changes that are going on for you that are affecting your whole being, you need it. Take it. It is the right thing to do. And you will have more to give to other people after becoming a hermit twice a day for five minutes or a bit longer if you can and want to. So card number three, bit of a different feel. And it's fascinating because last week, card number three talked to us a lot about letting go of the past to move on. This again has a bit of that energy. It's not quite as heavy as it was last week with the denial card. Um, so I feel like a lot of you who chose card number three last week are drawn to card number three this week. So here's your message is if you, whether or not you did last week's, if you did, you've done some really good work. You've already started that process, congratulations. 
Now, if you haven't, just pick right up with this um, where we're coming in here. The Emperor, Major Arcana number four. So again, I'm just loving the synchronicity of these messages. And I showed you how my feeling is, whoa, this is so exciting. I feel like I'm on the horse and the horse is trotting. It's like, I got to hold still. This deck doesn't show it, but often the Emperor has... Um, um, usually it's Archangel Michael, not always, but the Emperor in a chariot, driving the horses, and now the Emperor is able to keep things balanced. Now, the call for you is to do this, to get things stable by creating structure. So you're really excited. I'm excited for you. I feel this buzzing energy for you right now. Now, the thing is, it's so easy for all that excitement to carry us away because, again, whatever's going on right now ah, really works for your emotions and your heart, your mind, your physical. So it's time now to create structure in the form of to-do lists, in the form of written up calendars, writing your goals, making it visual, organizing your household, organizing your work life. You are ready to do it. Um, and again, that message is coming through. See, if you're driving that chariot and maybe you don't have the system to guide those horses, they're going to run off, right? Maybe not if they're trained. But the point is, we got to structure things. So very excited for all of you because, again, I just feel the energy of all the exciting big changes that are going on, whichever card you've chosen. Um Share with me what's going on. This is so cool. I mean, really, do you feel this buzzing energy? Like, I really feel like it. Like, we're on the horse. Where are we going? Let me know where you're going. I'm excited to be a part of this journey with you. And you know, if you ever have any more in-depth questions, uh, I do private readings. Shorter, longer ones, variety, couple variety price ranges, Skype, phone, in person. Um, if you ever want to just explore any of this more in-depth, please do feel free to reach out to me through PM or email. Um, website is strengthontherun.com. Check out the Facebook page. Regular new readings every week on the YouTube channel. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for the honor of allowing me to see into you and to give you this insight. It is just a joy for me. And I hope you have a fabulous week. I want to hear all about it. And we'll talk to you soon. Have a beautifully healthy and happy day.